what has happened? Uh, what has happened? Uh, status, status, status. Are you okay? Uh, are, are you okay? Uh, are you okay? Uh, have, have you been okay along this week? Uh, okay, we need to put him on a recovery position. Okay. probably sick along the way and so we'll get him into a recovery position uh, we hold up his hand on the right hand side on the left hand side uh, stretch it out keep the palm up and then fold his knee fold one knee the other or left knee the right knee take his right hand put it against his cheek turn his face quickly so that he does not vomit and, uh, and um, get the food, whatever food he may have, into his lungs and turn him. Just turn him on his left side and keep his leg all at 90 degrees uh, with his other leg so that he does not fall onto his stomach. And this is the recovery position. And be sure to call for help. Call for help. Well, so that uh, no matter what you have, being alone is not enough. You need help when you have somebody who has collapsed before you. So to repeat again, when somebody has fallen like Titus has, the right leg must be on the ground to prevent him from falling over on the stomach. Then the opposite arm on the face so that his face does not go to the ground. That way he will not put food or secretions to the wrong tube, like we put it in a tradition, isn't it? From the gullet going to the windpipe. This is called the recovery position. This week we saw exactly on the corridor, somebody collapsed, everybody is looking, and somebody actually choked and died because nobody knew how to use this recovery position. Then the next thing is to transport. You seek for help. Always seek for help. Okay, Ma Moses, are you okay? Are you okay? Titus. Yeah, uh, sorry, Titus. Uh, can, can, can you be able to stand? Can you be able to stand? Can you be able to stand? Well, give him the, can, can, are you able to stand? Can you be able to stand? Can you be able to stand? No. No, no, no. Okay. All right. Now, when someone, okay, let's see if we can help you to, to sit. Okay. Now, please take note. Transporting somebody who has fallen is very difficult when you're alone. When there are two of you and you notice, like we noted, there was no injury. If somebody is injured, don't try to make them sit because if the spinal cord is damaged, you will make sure that person is completely paralyzed. All right. Now, let me also say this. Now, from this point on, we had planned with Titus, so don't panic about Titus. Eh? Titus is a guinea pig today. Titus All right. Is okay. Fine. So, he's fine. so he is away, and he's fine. He's quite fine. All right. So, stand up, Titus. We'd like to show you how to do that. Please take note what we do. Okay, so you... Uh, Notice what we do. You put your strong... You, I see what has happened. The strong arm is held like that. All right? Why so? You want the strong arm to be the one. Then I'll do the same thing like that. All right, can you see that? You have now made a chair. All right. Now we like to do this so that... Okay, now sit on us and hold our hands. Yes, our, hold our shoulders. Yes. Okay, and you can see now we can transport Titus. Okay, thank you so much. Please say amen to Titus. Thank you, Titus. Now, thank you. We'd like you to also note you can carry people that are three times your weight. Want to try, Elder Okute? <laughs> Please take note, all this has been pre-planned. Okay. Your, your strong remember hand. Remember how all of you, remember to hold your hand like this. Put out That's your... That's how you do it. You hold... Yes, you, put out your right hand. And you pull like that. And with your left hand, make a, a square, a, you know, And then the degrees. person you are transporting must hold your shoulders so they don't fall backwards. Okay, let's try this.
same mental now, Kuthi. Now, interestingly, in the book of Micah, chapter 7, verse 8, the book of Micah, chapter 7, and verse 8, this is what it says. Even when I fall, I'll rise up again. I want you to know, if you fall, fall is always accidental, like Brother Titus. But by God's grace, he, we have helped him to rise up again. When you fall, God promises you rise up again. This is 2022, 2021. Somebody has fallen. Physically, they've been sick. By God's grace, pray this year, you rise up again. You are financially down, you rise up again. Emotion, you are down, you rise up again. Maybe spiritually, this last year you fell, you can rise up again. And God is able to turn your mess into a message. You no longer need to be a victim, you will be a victor. And that test you had will become a testimony. God bless you. God bless you.